So if you own a GM vehicle from the years 1986 to 2004 and you need a new key, um, you're actually going to need to get a special type of key. This is a, a VATS key, um, also known as a vehicle anti-theft system, which was a system that GM used from 86 to 2004. And it's actually... I'm pretty sure produced by Briggs & Stratton, which is the same company that makes small engines. Um, basically, vehicles, uh, GM vehicles are starting to get stolen, and they figured that they need to um, find a way to stop this. And the way they did it is, obviously, you can see there's a little chip, and when you insert this in the ignition, it's going to pass through, like, a checkpoint. And that's what that's going to do is it's going to basically tell the car that it's okay to start the engine you know if you have the wrong um chip with the wrong resistor value um it'll disable your car or you won't be able to start your car so if you get the wrong resistor value you have it cut and you put in your ignition the car's not going to start so there's 15 different resistor values um and what you need to do is you measure them with an ohms meter or a this is a digital multimeter but you can still measure ohms with it and that'll tell you which um resistor value you need um i'll link them down and the, or i'll write them down in the description which which is or which and whatever but um yeah also if you're looking to replace this key which is the key that opens the doors and the trunk and stuff what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to look for a little tiny letter on the back. It should be away from all the other lettering and you know words. Mine says D, as you can see, and that means I need to find. Uh, basically, you just look up online. You know, um, like my car's in uh, 1988 Pontiac Firebird, so I'd look up um, 1988 Firebird trunk key, and it should pop up the right letter. But if it doesn't, you got to make sure that you have the right letter. They're all online, A, B, C, D, H, whatever it is you need. So once you have your ohms meter, your multimeter, what you want to do is you want to take these two probes and you want to put one on each side of the resistor. As you can see, it's on both sides. And you want to make sure it touches that metal right there. You don't want it to touch the metal from the key. You want it to touch the metal from the resistor. Also, they give you a bad reading. So what you're going to do is you're going to set this uh, i don't know your multimeter or ohms meter might be different but you want to set it to this right here and you want to put these two on each side of the resistor so just to clarify you want to make sure your ohms meter or multimeter is on ohms or k ohms i'll put both the uh, values down in the description you can measure in each, whatever one's easier, whatever one you can find, just measure in that. I had to look it up. I, I, I guess that symbol there is measuring in ohms, but if you have one like this, you're going to have to um, set it on that. Other ones, I'm pretty sure will say K ohms or ohms, so it's easier to find. But just so you know, if you have this one, you set it on that setting. Now I'm going to try and do my best to show you what's on here. I'm going to put that there. Now what I did is I put this multimeter, um, as you can see it says M and then there's an Omega symbol. And um, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but that's the only way I can get the reading. So. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not going to be able to show you me putting this on the key because I got to do acrobats with my fingers to actually get this to touch, which I'll do right now. <clears throat> Here's your reading right there. This is 1.850. So what I found is that usually there's charts and the way the charts work is um, it, it shows you a specific number. Now I found that there's actually a range and I'll put the range down in the description. But um, yeah, you find the right range and that's the number key that you're gonna need.
So yeah, if you want to freshen up the look of your key or you just want to get more because you don't have enough. I mean, I only have one, which is why I'm doing this. And you have a spare ohms meter lying around. Measure the resistor value. Find the key online and order them. They're not expensive from what I know. Same thing with the trunkies. The trunkies are like, you know, a few bucks, not even. They're a little piece of metal. You just have to get them cut. But that's about it.